Hi guys, this is JP from FSI Panel. Welcome to this short tutorial where I will show you how to import a snapshot that you could, for example, download on a forum or that has been shared by a friend of you. So, as always, first we start P3D, we select a correct aircraft. So, the snapshot that I will import is for PMDG 747. So I have already imported a 747, sorry, loaded a 747. As you can see, I did a landing, everything is messed around. We have the Elna Vinav arm, the auto, auto brake. I will leave it like this and we will see if FSI panel can take care of it. So we go back to FSI panel. Now what I want to do is um, a special approach in uh, Salzburg. So for that, you will find this uh, file in the forum so let's see how to import a snapshot. This is the main target of that video. So you will download this kind of file .fsi, which are snapshot for FSI panel, either with the weather or without the, the weather. So here, this is the one we will try today. So you pick the file, it's a drag and drop. So you drop it over FSI panel. And this is what you get. LOWS runway 33. It's an visual, very difficult approach. And good luck, guys, because this is a demanding approach. So you can have a look at the chart. The idea here is to, to give it a try. So now you have two options. Either you save that snapshot to your database and then it will be available anytime you want to fly it. Or you say, I just want to try it now and I will decide later on if I import it again and save it. So let's try this snapshot. So I will just go fly snapshot. Right away, you can see that I have Salzburg, runway 33, will be positioned at 5,000 feet. So I can move the aircraft and we should be ready to do that snapshot. Let's see. So now what's going to happen? Uh, see the flaps are moving up because it's, uh, it's based on a clean situation. And once the flaps are up, we will be moving to Salzburg for that uh, training scenario. Let's see, here we are, 5,000 feet. We will see now if the uh, routing is coming or not. Yeah, we see the routing is already now inserted in my FMC. Heading, Alt, Captured, and we see that PMDG is still initializing the system. So as always, do not touch anything until FSI panel gives you the control. See the gear is being reset, gear is going up and then the handle will go to off. Engine is pulling up. Now the gear is up, so the handle will go to off. And we have now the message on top, aircraft ready for your training, audio brake for two seconds to take over control. So I'm ready, I have everything set up. So what I have to do here, take control by holding my brake. Arm El Nav and Vinav, and we will set 2000 as a minimum. I will explain you why in a minute. So let me pick up my chart so I can show you exactly what we are doing here. We are doing Salzburg, and what we are trying to do is the LNP Visual Runway 33. So we were above this point. You can see my aircraft, which is coming right there over W Sierra 832. Then we go to 833. Then I program 834, 835, 836, a right turn to the runway. The missed approach will be straight ahead. We go to 831 and then we join the holding at 6,000 feet, either the parallel entry or teardrop entry. And the challenge here is that at a beam the runway at 836, at 835 basically, sorry, you should be visual. This is your missed approach point. So if we don't see the runway, we turn right, climb 6000 and go to uh, Whiskey Sierra 831. Should we see the runway, we continue 836, 837 and final. This is supposed to be a visual uh, pattern, but assisted by LNAV. So we'll see how we can do that on the 747. This is fun because normally we don't fly this on such an airplane and the turn might be quite challenging. So we will try something and I'm waiting for your video to see if you can do it. So I just imported this snapshot. Now we are on our way to Whiskey Sierra 833. 
I have said 2000. Why 2000? Because the airport elevation is 1411 and plus 500, so 2000 feet. This is to remind me that I have to be stabilized by this altitude. We are already visual, so this is the reason I didn't set any uh, minimum here. And we're about to turn to start this approach from Whiskey Sierra 833. So Elnav and Vinav are captured. So it's important to check that you have Elnav Vinav path. If you have Vinav alt, the aircraft will not descend. It means something is wrong with your descent planning. Now everything looks good. Another thing that you can check is your speed. If we look here, my final approach speed today, as I'm quite light, don't take a heavy aircraft to do that. You're going to fly one. If I update those speeds, I'm going to fly my approach at 133, VRF plus 5, so 128 plus 5, 133. If I go to the legs page, I see that I have 140 that I set for you already. And at the runway, 170. So here we're going to change it as well to 133. And that is for the planning of the FMC. Now, if we look into our routing, we can see maybe if I go to plan mode, that the turn on final here, we might have an overshoot. So what I will do here is I will set my bank selector here to full bank, and then we will turn manually. So we'll see if that work. It's a challenge. Remember that we will never fly this kind of approach on a 747, and we have to reduce our speed as well early. So now it's a good time to start. So I will go flaps one. Take control of the speed, so you take control out of VNAV, and we go flaps one, bug, bug one. When we have flaps one, we're going to go flaps five, and we're going to bug five. If we look into our wings, it's beautiful to see slat and flaps are extending. That looks beautiful. We have the mountains on the left the two cliff where we are to turn around and the airport is on your right. You can see it here. So aircraft will start is descent. Now we have to slow down so we can go flaps 10 and we're going to reduce the speed to buck 10. There is a restrictions at this waypoint, W Sierra, Whiskey Sierra 835 at 3981 or 4,000 feet. So VNAV is following that carefully. Then after that point, it will be a continuous descent to your runway. So what we have to anticipate is the turn. So my turn to final. Let's see what is the heading. If we look in here, the final heading to the runway is 335. So I will pre-select here something like 330 for the right turn. Now we will continue to slow down. We're going to go flaps 20. And we can bug 20. Now if we look, the aircraft is beautiful. You see the airport behind? OK, now we are going 4,000. Gear down. Arm speed brake. When the gear is down, we can go flaps 30, and we will set our approach speed. Radio altimeter is alive. We have the gear down, so flaps 30. I set my approach speed 133, landing checklist. We have engine, we have the landing gear down, flaps are going now 30, green, and the speed brake is arm. All the lights are set. And we will turn final anytime soon. So what is important is this is your VNAV deviation. Terrain inhibit. Here we could inhibit the terrain. Of course, this is if, if the airline allow you to do that in VMC. And what is important, I was about to tell you, this is your VNAV deviation. Full deflection is 400 feet. So now we are perfectly established on the profile. We are turning final. So now what is going to be important is to anticipate the turn. So I will select heading very soon. OK, now we'll take control on the turn by going heading. As you see, heading cell, we will set 
missed approach altitude, 6,000 feet. So the aircraft continued the descent. And now we are carefully looking for the runway. We are still in the enough path. So we have to be very careful what we are doing here. Here's the runway. So I will take autopilot off. Now, flight director comes off. And now we fly down. All right. All right, all right. I need to trim a little bit the aircraft. So now we have to be careful about the sync rate. We're going to get a warning about sync rate. Remember that this is just for fun. Anticipate the turn to final. My rate of descent is 1,100. It's a bit too much. We should be less than 1,000. We get the sync rate any seconds by the system as we are a bit high. So we will probably go around. OK, sync rate, you see, a bit high here. So I could do a long landing, but I will not do it. So what we're going to do here is a go around toga flaps 20 positive rate gear up. Now it's quite easy. We're going to put command LNAV toga. We have the trust flaps 20 going for the holding. Now we wait 1,000 feet, which we passed. We'll accelerate and we retract the flaps to 10. Now we pass 10 speed, we can go flaps 5. When we pass flaps 5, we can go flaps 1. Okay, this is flaps 5 bug. I go flaps 1. Accelerate to at least up speed. I will boot back the terrain as now we are on a go around. We climb to 6,000 feet. And I will put now my flaps up. Flaps up. Now if we look on the overhead, what we can switch off is the taxi light. Retract your speed brake. And now we're going to have flaps up in any second. Monitor your rate of climb as well. We are in a, mo in, in a reduced go around thrust here. But when we reach 6,000, we don't want to reach with 3,000 feet per minute or because we can trigger a TCAS. So revert to vertical speed. 1,000 feet per minute, speed VS, flaps up. After takeoff checklist, we go in the hold and we try another approach. So this is uh, how we can fly this. So what I will do now for you guys, I will do a snapshot from that position just before entering the hold or in the hold, and you'll be able to try another approach from inside that holding. You just saw what I've done. You will have two files. One is the snapshot the snapshot uh, from Whiskey Sierra 832 and the second snapshot will take it together as soon as we join the holding and that will be for you to try uh, a second approach and I will let you set up everything so that you can practice as well the setup so let's see when we reach 6,000 feet any time now and the holding is in front of us if we man if we get it before I will just take the snapshot 6,000, alt acquired. All right, so let's go for a snapshot. Take snapshot. We are still a bit climbing, so she will not accept. Let's try again. No, not yet. So we have to wait really that the aircraft is stable. Now it seems to be stable. Let's have a look. Okay, so we're going to put uh, entering, entering, Hold just after the go around, try again, and we will save without the weather. All right, so now the snapshot will be saved, it takes around 20 seconds, and I will let you continue the video if you want. Give me the link, and I'm looking forward to see how you do your landing in. Uh, 
in, in Salzburg on runway 33. Be careful, a 747 is quite big and fast for this runway. This is just for fun. If you see that you are too high, you have a rate of descent like I had. Uh, if you have any warning on short final, don't push it. Just go around and you practice as well, you go around. You might as well extend a little bit your downwind because it's a visual approach at the end. So if you want, after you pass 837, just go a little bit, one or two miles more, but not more than this because you're going down in the same time. Do your turn and maybe you will manage to do a perfect landing. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed. That's a quick tutorial about the snapshot and uh, how to fly uh, this approach. And I hope that you will manage to do it. I'm looking forward to see your video. And if you have any comments, please put it down below. Thank you and see you soon.